six things that happen to your body when you stop eating meat. Today, we're seeing a huge hype around being a vegetarian or even a vegan. There's a lot of buzz around plant-based diets and getting rid of meat completely. People are participating in this dietary trend because of health reasons or just because it's becoming a popular thing to do. But for those of you who are trying to join in on the trend, there are actually a lot of health benefits for people who get rid of meat altogether. Not eating your favorite juicy steak will have a huge health benefit to you and your future. The longer you do it for, the more you'll start noticing positive changes in your body, whether it's weight loss, more energy, or reducing the risk of heart disease. Keep watching for a few things to happen to your body when you stop eating meat. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Number six, inflammation. If you are a meat eater, cheese lover, or enjoy highly processed foods, chances are you have high levels of inflammation. Short-term inflammation is completely normal and necessary, while inflammation that lasts for months or years is not. There are many different symptoms associated with inflammation. Symptoms can include redness, joint pain, joint stiffness, swollen joints, muscular pain, and more. If you notice that you are experiencing inflammation, you may want to check on your diet or speak to your doctor about any food-related issues that could be causing inflammation. If you tend to eat a lot of meat and do not eat many fruits or vegetables, it may be time to consider changing your diet. Plant-based diets are naturally anti-inflammatory. Being high in fiber and other phytonutrients, people can dramatically lower the inflammation in their bodies by eating more fruits and vegetables. Number five, cholesterol. High blood cholesterol is a major risk factor for heart disease and strokes. The saturated fat that's primarily found in meat is a driving force for our cholesterol levels. Cholesterol is a fat-like substance which is found in the cells of our body. According to medical news today, cholesterol can be both good and bad for our bodies. When cholesterol is at normal levels in our bodies, it is a good thing. In fact, cholesterol is an essential substance for our bodies when at normal levels. But when cholesterol reaches higher levels in our body, it can put us at risk for things like heart attacks. Cholesterol allows our bodies to produce vitamin D and make certain hormones, but if at a high level, it can lead to coronary heart disease and heart attacks. This is because high levels of cholesterol can narrow arteries, which can restrict blood flow. High cholesterol can be caused by a lack of exercise and a bad diet, and can be improved by simple lifestyle changes. To reduce levels of high cholesterol, doctors recommend reducing or limiting foods that contain high cholesterol, such as cheese, chocolate, certain dairy products, processed foods, and you guessed it, meat. When you stop eating meat, good things happen to your cholesterol levels. According to Forks Over Knives, science has shown that when people go plant-based, their blood cholesterol levels drop by 35%. It has been noted that the decrease is equivalent to taking medications with a number of positive side effects. Speak to your doctor about doing a plant-based diet along with your medication. Not only does eating meat have certain effects on our bodies, but eating meat also affects the environment. Do you know how? If you don't, keep watching, and I'll tell you at the end of the video. Number four, microorganisms. The microorganisms living in our bodies are crucial to our overall health. By eating meat, you ruin the condition of your microorganisms, creating a higher risk for cancer. The microorganisms not only help digest our food, but produce critical nutrients, train our immune system, turn our genes on and off, and protect us from cancer. Plant foods actually help shape a healthy intestinal microbiome. The fiber in fruits and vegetables helps the growth of good bacteria in our guts. Number three, genes. By cutting out meat, you'll also change the way your genes work. 
According to Forks Over Knives, scientists have discovered that environmental and lifestyle factors can turn genes on and off. Through lifestyle changes, such as plant-based diets, the expression of cancer genes can decrease specifically for those who have prostate cancer in their genes. Number two, pre-diabetes. According to Forks Over Knives, an estimated 38% of Americans have pre-diabetes. Animal protein, especially red meat, increases the risk of type two diabetes. They continue to note that omnivores have double the rate of diabetes compared to vegans. And although a vegetarian diet will not cure diabetes, someone who has diabetes can experience benefits over people who eat meat in their diets. Certain diets can help control a person's weight, which can significantly reduce the risk of diabetes-related symptoms and complications. Eating vegetables, fruits, and other healthy vegetarian foods can help improve insulin response and blood sugar control. This could help reduce the risk of diabetes-related issues and could also even reduce the amount of medication a person needs to take, according to the Mayo Clinic. A vegetarian diet can help significantly reduce a person's risk of cardiovascular disease. Most vegan diets are cholesterol-free. They are usually low in saturated fats, which can help reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease, which is a very common symptom or complication of diabetes. If you're considering switching to a vegan or vegetarian diet, speak to your doctor or dietitian to create a plan that works for you. Number one, excess protein. People usually believe that they need protein found in meat, but in fact, this excess protein actually hurts your body and in turn, it turns into waste and can damage your health. The protein found in whole plant foods actually protects us from various chronic diseases. You don't even need to take supplements with a plant-based diet. Healthline states that although protein is a very important part of our diet because it can help build and repair organs, bones, and muscles, there are certain risks in a diet that has too much protein. Overconsumption of protein can lead to weight gain over time. This is because excess protein is typically stored as fat, while amino acids are excreted. And according to Healthline, excess protein can lead to constipation, diarrhea, and even dehydration. And as if that wasn't bad enough, excess amount of protein can even lead to bad breath, particularly if you're on a low-carb diet. This can be caused by ketosis, which is a type of metabolic state that your body goes into when on a low-carb diet. Ketosis produces certain chemicals which can produce unpleasant smells. Now that you know what may happen to your body when you stop eating meat, here's how not eating meat can help the environment. Go green. Generally, not eating meat can have a huge impact on the health of our planet and its inhabitants. It's been reported that animal agriculture is destructive to the planet. So by not eating it, you're also helping the environment, which in turn helps you. Raising animals for consumption as food requires a lot of resources. This includes food, energy, land, and water. According to PETA, animal agriculture is actually responsible for more greenhouse gases than all the transportation systems in the whole entire world combined. The United Nations also states that in order to combat these effects of climate change, there needs to be a massive shift in our diets and that more people need to start eating vegan diets. It takes a huge amount of water to grow crops to use as food for animals and give them water to drink. According to PETA, one cow can drink a whopping 50 gallons every single day. And did you know that it takes up to 683 gallons of water to produce one single gallon of milk? This means that it takes over 2,400 gallons of water to create one single pound of beef. Tofu, on the other hand, can be produced with only 244 gallons of water. PETA states that by switching to a vegan diet, one single person can save up to 219,000 gallons of water every single year. So what do you think? Are you a vegetarian? Do you love me? Why or why would you not switch to a vegan or vegetarian diet? 
Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.